to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Sam and in today's video, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail and title, I did a huge road trip up the coast of Maine this weekend and I thrifted my heart out. So I have a huge haul to show you guys and lots of footage of my trip. Um, my family and I, we went and stayed up in a little cabin, the Art Farm cabins up in Lemoyne, Maine just perfection so beautiful up there and you can take the coastal route up there I think it's route one and that's what we did and I stopped at antique stores antique malls I stopped at thrift stores just goodwills and I am going to show you guys what I found but first before I do that I'm going to show you all the footage of the road trip and all of the little thrift stores that I stopped into so I'm going to show you guys that footage right now this tissue cover but it had a huge crack and it looked like it could break so I I put it back but anyway this is the Belfast Goodwill and they have some really really cute stuff in here and I found great things off to a really good start so the next day we took route one all the way down from Lemoyne all the way to central Maine and the first place we stopped at was Robin's Nest consignment store and this place was really, really cute. The prices were very fair, mostly for if you were just going to purchase for yourself. For reselling, it was a little hard because obviously they are reselling these items. Um, but he did have some like sticker sales, like certain colors were on sale. So I ended up getting one thing. Um, oh, I like that laundry card I just noticed. But I will obviously show you guys what I got. But I would check this place out if you are up in that area. I'm trying to remember where this was i think this is somerset or somewhere near belfast for sure this bed is so cute so i just left with this there's four of them and they all hang and they were 20 percent off stop uh treasures to trash is that what it is called i can't remember something like that but this is a huge barn full like full so so fun to like pick through everything and he's honestly a little bit organized so it was kind of it was very interesting like it was like a bunch of stuff but he had it organized in his own way um but when I tell you my neck was killing me, you have to literally like hunch over someone else that was there was like, I feel like I'm going into a mine. And that is honestly what it feels like. Um, so many cool treasures there. And I found a couple things. So I got that candlestick holder. And then I also uh, got a couple other things. But I really loved this art. But as you can see in a second, 
the back is moldy. Like I was like, no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, not a bad price, eight fifty, but not for mold. Like, ugh. So anyway, I got this though, mold free, <laughs> and I thought it was really, really pretty. But yeah, as you can see. I'm having a hard time standing up. You cannot stand up straight in there. So it it's all part of the experience, I guess. That was really cute. I think it was a bit pricey for me. I can't remember what the price was, but super fun. Goodwill was by far my favorite stop of my entire trip. I feel like it was like score after score of really cute cottage finds. This is like an English walnut little vessel. Loved that so much even though it's cracked. And then I found another pair of bookends and these were duck ones. I love these so much. So the next place that we went to was the big chicken barn. And now this place is like floor after floor, like one of those antique malls. It's just some room, 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 like so many booths. You can be in there for like an entire day and not see everything. So to me, it's fun, but it's also very overwhelming. Um, and I don't know. These are fun to go just like looking for inspiration and maybe for myself, but certainly not reselling because the prices were a little um out of my budget and so it would be somewhere that's fun to go looking for yourself or like i said inspiration but as a reseller not so much i don't think i got one thing from here i'm no i i don't think i did like these bowls were a little pricey those um vintage roseville pottery bowls they had them priced for like 50 bucks, which was kind of crazy. Um, and then those were a good price. That was like the only thing that was like a decent price. But these bowls were expensive too. Like the teeny tiny ones were expensive. Those were okay priced. Those were like 20 something. Not my size. If they were my size, I would have got them immediately. Vintage L.L. Bean like duck boots. Like I would have got them immediately. But they were a size 6. Nothing breaks your heart like seeing a pair of vintage shoes or a shirt that doesn't fit. Um, that is the biggest candlestick holder I've ever seen in my life. This last Goodwill that I went to was in Rockland and I've never been to this Goodwill. So it's always so fun to go to a different Goodwill. And I found some really good stuff at this one. Okay, I'm bringing coffee so it's so loud, sorry. Uh, but hopefully you've seen all of my thrifting footage and my adventures. I had so much fun. I wish I could do that like literally every day, just traveling, thrifting. It was such a dream. I hope to do that again soon because so fun. Um, sorry that is so loud. 
my favorite stops were honestly the Goodwills. Like that, uh, Lemoy, no, uh, the Ellsworth Goodwill was so good. And I feel like I found my favorite things from there, but also all of the stops combined created this really, really cute haul. So I have a giant haul to show you. I didn't show you everything that I got in that footage. So let's get into it. First, I need some coffee because I'm so tired. <laughs> On the trip, Frank ended up getting croup, um, my three-year-old, oh, crack, it's gone crazy. And um, we're all down with a little something. So I need this. <laughs> Actually going to start with, I just went thrifting this morning because I had to shoot a little bit of footage for Goodwill and I ended up finding a couple of things. So I'm just gonna sh get that out of the way, but I wanted to show you guys because I'm excited. I found this cute little embroidery pillow and then the back is, um, really soft but this is so so cute so I love this I'm so excited about that and then I found just now this little horse wood plaque and it has um, the thing to hang on the back here and it was two dollars but and then I found these two frames I really like this one because it's got the gold and then the wood and then this one's just a nice wood frame it has a little matting and these were both a dollar and i have been loving finding cute frames filling them with art from my art books that i've thrifted and then selling those because they just look so so cute okay so let's get into it my kitchen table is spread full of stuff so i'm going to start from this end and work over so i apologize i don't remember where each thing is from I'm, i don't think i will i don't know I cannot remember if I showed you guys this too. So this was like the day before we went on our trip, this um, chippy little stoneware bowl. This was from an antique mall in West Cassett, which is a new place I hadn't been to either, but uh, it says Charlotte Charles Evanston, I think. So I found that. And then this Good Housekeeping cookbook, which I think is so, so cute. I love the design in here and then it's just, got really cute oh a note potato vegetable bake we have another recipe here folks another recipe so whoever buys this from me will be receiving the vegetable bake recipe okay I got this at a goodwill I can't remember which one on my trip so now we're on to the trip <laughs> okay so uh, this is a little apple warmer is from Germany and I love the little handle because it's like perfect for your fingers so so cute I've never seen an apple one so that huge barn that I show you some footage of that is just like filled to the brim of stuff I found this really really cute wall a candle holder sconce or candle opera. what do you call this when it's just two um, made out of brass and then this another one very similar but I really like this one I think it's super super cute I love the little scallops here so I found that in that barn which is a very fun little place um and then these are my my favorite things I found I think oh I don't know there's so much to choose from but I love these tiny look how small they are um little copper molds the little pair of them with the little handles and they are just too, too cute. Um, I've never seen them so small. And these are definitely pretty old. So I snagged those. And this is just like plastic, I think. Plastic, it's not, it's not a metal. Um, but I thought this was really, really pretty. And it would be really cute on a gallery wall. So I picked this up. I think this was at one of the Goodwills. I just thought that was really cute. And then this was at a consignment store really cute one. I think it was called, I, I showed you, of course. Um, sorry, I forgot that I showed you the footage already, but anyway, you saw me pick this up. So it's a set of four and they all have felting on the back and a way to hang them. So there's this one, all these little still lifes, this one, that one, and this one. So all together, super cute and literally like an instant gallery wall in someone's kitchen. Uh, what's that? I think I want to keep the rubber band around them. Really great shape. So I think I got those for 10 
with 10% off or something like that. <clears throat> so, all right, moving along. Also at that little barn, I found, well, it was a big barn actually, these two China Ware um, dishes, super, super like solid thick ones. And then at the, one of the Goodwills, I found three of these plates. I love the pattern on these, super cottagey, but also so, so fall, adorable. Some of these things have already sold um, as you're watching this. Uh, so make sure you're following, you're following me over on Blueberry Vintage Co. on Instagram. That is where I'm reselling all of the stuff and all of my finds that I always find. Um, and so if you see something, check over there to make sure it hasn't sold. Okay, and then I found this really, really cute um, ceramic mold. I love the details on it and it's really tiny. It has a little um, hole to hang it, but look how small it is. I always put things next to my head so you can see how small these are. I have a big head though, so maybe it's not a good reference. I don't know. Uh, oh, I love these. These were at the Ellsworth Goodwill. That one was such a good Goodwill. Um, I really scored at that one. So I found these. These are so pretty. Sorry about pricing. I've already washed everything for reselling. So I've ripped off all the stickers. I think that these were six. This was from that barn. I sold this already. And it's super old. It has like the nails. And I need to put, have Renee put a couple nails here. Because otherwise this like kind of falls out. But this is really pretty. It's very interesting. I think the paint is actually on the glass. So I don't know, but it was definitely original because I, it was all peeling, like, you know, the paper or the tape that they would put over top of this. Um, it was all peeling. So I ripped that part off so that it wouldn't be just hanging off. Um, but this part kind of pops out because it needs a couple of nails or you could always tape it, I guess. But oh, I think it needs to go this way, but I thought it was so pretty. Love it. And I love strawberries. So I always think they look cute. So if I see some cute strawberry stuff, I get it. And then I thrift, uh, thrifted these oval frames at Goodwill. Um, and both of them, I think this was the Rockland Goodwill, but both of them were missing the backing. And I always keep a container of these um, hooks. These are from Amazon. They come in a big box of them and the sticky stuff sticks to literally everything. So they come in so handy when I thrift stuff and like plates and things like that, that I don't want to use to eat off of, that I want to hang. I use them on that. Um, and I've used these for like, oh, I think over two years, this, this exact kind. Okay, my storage is full, so I keep having to restart and I don't know where I left off. But anyway, my favorite thing to do right now is to get frames and then fill them with art from, I thrift art books and then I put art from those books into the frames. And it gives these frames a new life because like they were missing the back. They had nothing inside and I'm sure that's why they were passed over. So now they are good to go, so cute. And then I thrifted this really cute wicker organizer at that same Ellsworth Goodwill. And I love this one. I love the detail up here around the edges. And I think this is so, so cute. I just recently thrifted a wicker organizer that I'm gonna use on my desk downstairs. Um, so I'm gonna sell that one. And then I found this Martha Stewart book, which I love to collect Martha Stewart books. And I've never seen this one before. And this one is New Old House. And I love the fabric on it. And that look has a little embossed house, so cute. But the actual inside is amazing. She's got really good inspo for home decor. Um, it's all about redoing an old house. Um, but let's find, okay, well here's one. Um, and then all the rage right now is using these wooden vintage duck decoys and she was already on it. Um, but it's just a really, really cute book. So I got that. And then speaking of art books, I thrifted one. So I was really excited to find this because this has really pretty art. Um, and this was the Great Masters of French Impressionism book. And it, it looks like this without the jacket, really pretty, but amazing art. So seriously, if you go to the thrift store and you find an art book, just get it because you can cut these out. Look, look at this. How pretty would that be cut out and put into a frame? Um, 
let me find like so so pretty so excited to find that i'm gonna sell that book because i have enough art books now okay i'm really excited about these book ends that i got at goodwill the same one that ellsworth goodwill so good if you live local to there let me know do you find good stuff there too or was it like a one-off but um these mallard i think they are bookends like how cool and they're in great shape but they have the felting bottom so i know they're pretty old like probably 70s 60s but they're so so cute they would look really really cool in like a study this is one of the coolest things i found and i might be keeping this to try to make a wallpaper but i found this wooden um like stamp art pattern block and look at the pretty flower pattern on here this is so so cool i think i got this for like two or three dollars um parts of it are chipping away but i still think it could be really really cool so i might like dip this in some paint because like right back here i used a rubber stamp to make my wall paper like look and how cute would this be so i might keep that one i haven't decided and then I had, I found this goat, a little piece of the sticker didn't come off, <clears throat> uh, this little goat canister. I love how it has a wood top. I think I got this at another Goodwill. I think the Belfast Goodwill, which I also really like that one. Um, I love the little wood top. So that one is so cute. And then this was also at the Ellsworth Goodwill. Um, it says on the bottom, English Walnut. So I trust whoever wrote that because maybe they know what they're talking about. And, um, Renee thinks it's correct, but this is old. This is old. Um, it does have some cracks, but it doesn't like affect the integrity of the piece. They don't go through all the way. Um, and I don't know if this was like a mortar and pestle kind of situation, but this could just be used for like dried flowers, or you could put a glass in here and then use live live flowers i don't know i am so sorry i'm gonna have to be quick because my uh, storage is so full and it keeps like cutting mouth okay so still waters white waters exploring america's rivers and lakes so i grabbed this book i thought this was really neat just a cute little coffee table book and then i found this crock at the ellsworth goodwill this is just an ellsworth goodwill haul video apparently um and this was six dollars i think but this is a really really good old croc so i love that one then i found this frame it looks wood but i don't think it is but i love the shape of it and i even kind of like the image in there so i left it in there um but i thought this was really really cute really cute on a gallery wall and then this is like one of my favorite things i found at the ellsworth goodwill i'm so sorry i just keep talking about it but Hello. look at this oh my god this beautiful cross stitch um or needlepoint floral framed in wood like just perfect and stunning ready to hang and it was 10 and then these two also <laughs> so these are really cool i'm assuming they were together um but this says great smoky mountains july 1967 and then it says the forest of smoky mountains so so cool this old old photo um well not old old sorry if you're born in 67 but super cute that they decided to like mat and frame their photo of their like traveling trip um and then i think i'm assuming this is the, from the same person it doesn't have the same like writing on it so i'm, I'm not sure but I really liked this photo as well. And that is my whole haul. I will be, like I said, putting all of this up on Blueberry Vintage Co. on Instagram. So make sure you look over there if anything caught your eye. Uh, I am so excited. This is like a dream of mine to have a road trip of thrifting and it was so much fun. Encourage you to do the same thing if you ever can and I really want to do it again So let me know if you liked this like style of like You know going on a trip to find the thrifts because I can try to make it a priority Maybe to do it once a month or so like, you know traveling to 
uh, other Goodwills and thrift stores that I don't normally go to. That would be fun little like series. So anyway, let me know also which find was your favorite or if you have more than one. But thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on my adventures with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.